Welcome back to Rayman 2. Uh, Miwa, we were talking about what it is that you had, that you left in your will for Bugs Bunny? Uh, sure. Uh, um, he can take my corpse and take my lips so he can kiss them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's, uh, what the f- that's a very specific thing to leave in your well. So, Wait, did you say your corpse and your lips? No, just just my lips. Just the lips. <laughs> I have I have several questions. <laughs> well, what if he puts them on his mouth and kisses Elmer Fudd? What? Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so does so does 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 Bugs Bunny himself get to remove them from uh, from your body, or is that something that like the scientists will do? I don't care. I'll be, I'll be dead. <laughs> Get that good point. He, 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 he gets Daffy Duck to do it, and he just he just really screws that one up. <laughs> he uses a shotgun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, holy shit! Honoring the classic duck season, rabbit season bit, I see it all ties together. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Me and I do a, a gag where we go Asian season, American season. <laughs> <laughs> I think white season would have been funnier. Well, probably. Probably slightly racist. Nah. Or unracist. Probably racist. What's racist again? I always forget. Everything. Oh, okay. Is, is Rayman too racist? Yes. It's. Uh, <laughs> It's racist against what? What species is Rayman? French? He's a he's a man. He's a, ah. he's a <laughs> and he's a ray. I thought it was obvious. Oh uh, man! So he's that Madonna song, "Ray of Light." Sure. Okay. Alpha five. Quicker than a ray of light. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a car almost hit me today. Big oh, yeah? Yeah. I was, Damn it, uh, you, right. you missed. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Yeah. Well, nothing, nothing. I said it almost oh. hit me. So oh. I'm, I'm riding, I'm in an inter, I'm in an intersection and in, uh-huh. in here in America. I remember, Gareth, the first time when, um, you had recently gotten, like, your American license and um, I was in the passenger seat, and you were driving Carrie's car, and uh, uh, we were at a stoplight, and there was like no traffic, and you were about to turn right. I'm like, you can just turn right, and he's like, but it's red. I'm like, you can turn right on red in America. And you're like, what the fuck? I was like, this is the greatest country in the world. <laughs> well, this this woman today was about to turn right on red, and she didn't even see me, and she almost hit me, and that was fun. What I tweeted, I, I tweeted about this like oh, six six months ago. But, but honest to God, one time I was walking, or like I, I'd walked, I went to the, the local store to get something. I was walking back to my house, and I, I was almost hit by a car. Mm-hmm. And no shit, the license plate was HFC. I was like, damn, you ain't told not, <laughs> not today. <laughs> <laughs> I you ever see those? Oh. oh, you ever see those big semi trucks that have MBM on the side? <laughs> every, every time I pass one, like I guess well, when I go to work, I'm in a, in a lot of traffic normally. So every time I see one, I will take a picture and text it to Maxi Bean. I'm driving to work with you today, buddy. <laughs> Uh, I, I almost hit someone with my car the other day. <laughs> Today in Orlando, Florida, <laughs> right. Ooh, dressed as dressed as a woman. <laughs> it was weird. Uh, <laughs> no, I was driving. It was it was dark out, and I was just driving down a road, and I saw something in the middle of the road, and I thought it was like a bag, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. And as I got closer, I realized, no, it's not a bag. It's a human child. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So then as I approached, I mean, like, he was probably maybe 13. Uh, He sat up and looked at me really confused. And I looked back at him really confused and I kept on going. And he went back down laying on the ground and I went, "Okay, I guess that's fine. And I just left. Good. I have never almost been hit or almost hit anyone. 
with Ka. So we are flipping stereotypes today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I legit thought Miho was going to turn around like, I've never hit or almost been hit by anyone in a car, but I have with a gun. <laughs> but it didn't go that way. You know, the, but it, just because we're on the subject of terrible American drivers, why, how could, I, I, you know, maybe this is just currently situated in Ohio, because mm -hmm. in, in the Columbus area, over the last year, they put in a bunch more roundabouts. How come Americans can't fucking navigate a fucking roundabout even when there's a picture? There's a literal yeah. picture telling says, you... This is how you use it. It literally says, this is how, this, this is the, like, order of who has right of way, and none of you fucking morons could like so, someone <laughs> someone someone almost crashed it into my car when I had been in, in there because they couldn't fucking navigate a roundabout until I had right of way and just if it's like if you Americans can't handle roundabouts maybe you shouldn't have them all right I'm gonna turn this car around and we're gonna take roundabouts out of this because you morons can't do nothing right of them it sucks too because roundabouts are so much better than than stop than four-way stops you know yes they are they are, it, 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 in, in theory, it should, it should ensure that, you know, that there's a constant stream of traffic and you're not just sitting down, yeah. you know, for a long time. But again, if you can't fucking navigate it, and the amount of time, because right by my road, there are, are, are like two mini ones. And the amount of times people who have fucking right of way will just sit there and like, look at me. I'm like, you have right of way, you fucking idiot, go. And they, they, <laughs> like, they, they, it's like, they literally won't, for some reason, they won't go until I pass them like that's not how this fucking works well don't you call them giveaways in England no I thought it was called a giveaway I have never heard that expression before in my life <laughs> well I could, well when I was in I, when I was a passenger in your car when we were at a roundabout I could have sworn the sign on it said give way and I'm like oh okay guess they're called oh yeah no, I mean like give yeah I mean it's that's that's not that's not the I, I thought it was called a give way <laughs> no I mean no, that's that's not the name of it you dope that's what it's telling you to do give way to other people <laughs> right they're like we're approaching the the you, we call them intersections, but in England they call them stops. It's exactly what it is. Or yields. Wait, no, that works. Wait, hold on. Blind children present. Yes. <laughs> Listen, you call the trunk a boot. All right. So, <laughs> who is who is Donald, and how do I mark him? <laughs> which which Donald? A duck. <laughs> the, the president? No, no, I, I see, I see a sign that says McDonald's. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> How do, who do I McDonald? All right. <laughs> Man, you're dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was mean. I was expecting a laugh. <laughs> so, so Miwa, every, every 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 time you go into a Japanese McDonald's, does everyone mm -hmm. have to say "itatakimas" by law, otherwise you don't get served? <laughs> you say that just before you eat. Oh. Yeah, but nobody nobody eats McDonald's. They inhale it and then it leaves their body just as fast. <laughs> you know, Miwa brought up the. Mivo brought up the stereotype of Asians not being able to drive, but I'd be like, if that was true, how how are there entire Asian countries that are just full of people who drive? Like, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Because like, everyone, that was, because everyone takes the train, like in King of the Hill. All right, well, I'm, maybe, maybe I wasn't doing Asian. Maybe I was doing the fact I'm a woman. Okay. <laughs> It works. Well, it well, works Miwa, on so when many you, levels. when you multiply a negative by a negative, you get a positive, right? So, <laughs> so hmm, women can't drive, neither can Asians, but combine the two, you get the best driver ever lived. <laughs> uh. So are you saying that Danica Patrick just needs to be Asian? <laughs> and then maybe she'll win a race for once in her life. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> she's like the well. I mean, she's retired now, right? Yeah, because she anyone, never. Anyone, listen, 
Because she never won a race in her fucking life. That's why she retired. But wasn't she like the best female driver in the circuit? No, she never came. She never came first. I, okay, I, 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 woman, I, how many? Well, who who has won uh, a Daytona type race, uh, being a, a lady woman? Bruce the bad our viewers out there. We're Wait, very... this isn't me being like, oh man, those gold dang <laughs> ladies and their. Uh... <laughs> That may be completely wrong, okay? Mm-hmm. And this is, I, I, I just remember reading multiple things in that, that like, yeah. Danica Patrick, she, I think she's just like, she was just the most famous female okay. NASCAR driver. I don't think she was the best. You know, we should, uh, we, have, we, we have a friend who's really into NASCAR. I should text her and be like, hey, you should might know this. Is Danica Patrick any good? And then she'll be like, stop texting me, go away. Do you think she uses her turn signals? Because she's American, and you know, Americans don't use the turn signals here. You, you really fucking don't. I hate American drivers so fucking much. I they don't use turn signals at all. That's upsetting. The worst, is, the worst is Florida. Florida might be the worst place in the world I've ever been to that has like just the worst drivers. I never, nope, I never uh, want to fucking fl- drive in Florida again. Washington D.C. has oh. the worst drivers in the world, in my opinion. I've never you know, been there. <laughs> you might be right. Uh, it's bad. I, it's worse than New York City. Like that's bad. Oh, I don't know. I mean, one time hey, I, I'm driving here. No, yeah, I got a ticket in D.C. I was very upset about that. For who? Uh, well, uh, it was Celine Dion. No, um, nice. Uh, no, no, because I turned. At, at a, I think I, I made a complete stop. It was red. I turned right, and then I got a ticket in a mail saying, "You ran this red light, you fuck!" And I went, "Oh no!" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "One, DC's letters are very strongly worded. Two, I was, I was upset that I had gotten a ticket for something I didn't realize I had done." Is 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 that a thing where you have to pay, or could you just ignore it because you don't, you don't technically live in that state? Um, I, th- I think. Technically, I probably could have ignored it unless I went back to D.C. and got pulled over and they went, hey, you owe us money. Because oh, yeah. technically, I owe the state of Pennsylvania money and I've never paid them. <laughs> is, that, is that when you went to too many games? Did you did you get tickets when you went to too many games? No, I went to a toll booth and I went, oh, I have no money for this toll booth. And they were like, OK, well, we'll write down your address and we'll send you a, uh, a statement and you'll send us the money for this toll booth. And I went, OK, that sounds good. Sure. <laughs> and I never did. Uh, I got it in the mail. Uh, oh, wait. I mean, I never got it in the mail. Shit, evidence. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I never paid it. And then, um, you know, like, I've driven through the state before. I've I've gone through other toll booths before, I've, but I've always had money. So I don't know what would happen if I went to another toll booth and said I don't have the money. If they would be like, oh, well, I guess you're going to toll booth jail. Or... <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get their employees. It's like, oh, well, you didn't pay it the first time. Now you're forced to work here forever. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but because I almost got... I think it's weird that I almost got hit several times in Florida, but in New York, never. I was every. It's weird. It's like you'd think with all the increased traffic that'd be more dangerous, but it's not. It's weird. Well, huh. see, the thing... The thought, I forget. When, when you were cycling, you were... You, Across uh, Nova. Yeah, how much how much time did you spend in the city, or was it was it more across the state of New York, or was it like like Manhattan? You were cycling across. I could let's see. We spent the first two days in Brooklyn. That's where the Mario brothers used to live before they became fully Italian. Yeah, uh, we spent two days in Manhattan and did some catch up shots uh, back in Brooklyn and. Manhattan again, so I don't know. We were in the city for about three days. Well, that's good well no, five days. That was a long-winded way to say five. <laughs> that is why I love uh, Manhattan because the roads—it's just fucking squares. Yeah, you know. I mean, like, yeah, like, like, like traffic's busy. You know, and it, it's always like a gridlock, but like. It's a fucking square. Like anyone, if if you can, if you've passed your driver's test, you should be able to navigate a square. You know. The roads are so narrow in England. Like I remember when you were driving down some of those roads, I was I was anxious, and you're just like do do do. Yeah, it was weird though. Since since going back there, I am now anxious driving. I, I used to be able to like <laughs> to drive down those roads with my fucking eyes closed, you know. But now I'm like, holy hell, did I ever fucking do this? This road is too narrow. Yeah, it's <laughs> scary. Ugh. 
I'll just say for if, uh, it, it, to put it in perspective, sometimes like the average length of of one lane in an American like freeway is normally the size of almost both lanes on, on an English country road. Ooh. That's how fucking narrow they are, man. Oh man, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the rural roads in uh, Pennsylvania, like outside of Pittsburgh. All those small towns cut into the mountains. Hmm. Those roads are terrible. I remember the first time, or maybe it was the second time, I went to Pennsylvania. I was seeing my friend Sammy, and he's just zipping through, turning all these blind curves, and you're like, oh, because he knows it because he's lived there forever. But we're just terrified because it's also the middle of the night, and there are no <laughs> streets lights in the middle of nowhere and then finally we hit like what seems to be a small town sammy zips by we turn oh look a semi is heading right for us <laughs> this is bad <laughs> so so eric turned very wildly and uh he he blew out his tires on some jagged non-road and we just missed crashing straight into that semi that was fun but now you got us uh, but now you got a small story to tell Anyway, yeah, it was a small story. There, there's a picture of him holding up the the tire because apparently we thought it was super cool because we were from the internet and it, you know we going were outside from the internet. going outside was a very big thing back then. <laughs> 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 Gareth, do you ever you ever talk to that one Canadian guy who broke my back at your wedding? Jay, yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever tell that story? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. So on, on my wedding day... Um, well, I don't know if we should tell it because if if the insurance agencies are ever watching our commentaries... <laughs> <laughs> they'll realize... Well, look, I've already got the state of Pennsylvania looking at me through here, so you might as well. <laughs> okay, so... Um, uh, on the day of, of my wedding, we had all of my groomsmen and, and Jay, who was just there as, as a good friend, um, he, he had rented this big, like, uh, minivan. SUV. SUV. And so, yeah, yeah, it's like a minivan, yeah. And so we're driving down. Um, <laughs> on the way to your wedding. Yeah, we're, we're literally on the way to we're my wedding. We're all dressed wedding. up in our monkey suits. <laughs> yeah, for all, yeah. All, all in our taxes, we'd been staying at uh, Kerry's aunt's house for the night because we'd gone out drinking for my bachelor night and I was we got shit faced it was a good night um, <laughs> and so uh, we, we're driving down and there was this there, so oh there was like three different rows and in in the in the last row which is where like like the boot would be Stephen was sitting there and I guess the, those seats weren't uh, secure they were kind of on, on, a, on a hinge almost so like the seats would go up and knee, like you could rock them back and forth not uh, just that but they only had two seatbelts in the back, and we squeezed three of us back there. Yeah, we, have, we fit a lot of people in in this car, um, and uh -oh. so we're driving we're driving down, and and we, we get to like this little bit of a hill, and so we're all fans of Star Wars here. So I go, Jay, punch it, and so he like speeds up. Uh, he kind of kind of like in a, imagine a really shitty version of Dukes of Hazard. we take, go take the, we take this mini leap off the hill and as it comes crashing down the seat Steven's on kind of hinges back and then slams forward and the, and the seat just cracks Steven right in the back and he starts screaming out in pain we have to stop the, we have to stop the car on like on this road so he could Steven could get out and lay on the floor it wasn't just that though, because I didn't have a seatbelt back there. When we hit the ground, I went up, oh, and my I, head I hit the my part. head my head hit the ceiling. And when I came and when I came crashing down on the 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 bench, uh, the seat, that's when I that's when I cracked my back. I got I was I was I've only been wended three times in my life. Um, and I literally could not breathe, but I remember back in high school, this one guy like punched me in the rib, and he um, I don't I, I don't remember why probably because I was being a dick, and um, <laughs> I remember I couldn't breathe, and like like everybody in the school was like watching like oh who's this dude that punched this guy, and he can't, he's saying that he's well whispering that he can't breathe, and I remember he's like oh, just just you know lean backwards as far as you can and then the air will start rushing in and in that moment it was almost like a, a movie like at your at the, on the day of your wedding I was like oh, just remember back to the high school day when I told you to lean back <laughs> <laughs> and so I leaned back and I could breathe and I was and you're like you okay and I'm like yeah <laughs> yeah I'm alright 
<laughs> and then did you did you, did you have to go through months of like like a masseuse for a couple of months and weren't you on painkillers for a while? I was on painkillers for a little while, but I got better. And that's when I learned that Percocet is really nice. <laughs> You know, it, it that, that bums me out because when I was when I was prescribed both Percocet and and Vicodin for my herniated disc, neither of them did a goddamn thing. Yeah. Mm. Well, join us next time. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about we talk about more problems with prescription pain medication we've had over the years. You break your back on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> like this, the day of my daughter's wedding. Oh man, we have, we, I have so many more stories. Ah, okay, next time. Next time. <laughs>